In this problem, we're being asked to name the quadrant or the axis of a point uh, just by looking at the coordinates. And you know, there are a couple of ways to go about this. We can just plot these points and, and then take a look where they are. And uh, as a reminder here, we have quadrant one in the upper right here, and then we go around counterclockwise with one, two, three, and four. There are some clues here, though, that we can use too. So if we don't want to plot this, we can probably figure it out um, by just looking at the signs of the X and Y. In this first quadrant, both are positive. So if we had a, a, an X that's positive and the Y that's positive, we know it's going to be in quadrant one. In quadrant two, the X is negative and the Y is positive. In quadrant three, they're both negative. And in quadrant four, the X is positive and the Y is negative. So that is going to be a, a good shorthand for determining if these points are in quadrant one, two, three, or four. If you want to know whether they're on the y-axis, the y-axis is going to have an x of zero. And the x-axis is going to have a y of zero. So let's see if we can apply these rules here to, uh, to these points. First, we have negative three, four. Oops. Negative three, four. So that's the x negative and the y positive, which should be quadrant two. But let's just plot that and see negative three and four. Yep, right there in quadrant two. So this is quadrant, I guess I should use Roman numerals here, quadrant two. All right, now zero, two. Here we have x equals zero. So that has got to be on the y-axis. Let's just plot it just to make sure. So x of 0, y of negative 2 would be right there. Yeah, that's on the y-axis. Next, we have negative 7, negative 6. That's both negative, so it should be here in the third quadrant. But let's plot it. Negative 7, negative 6 right there. Yep. So that's quadrant 3. And finally, 4, 2. That's both positive, so that should be quadrant 1. And if we plot that, it's right there. Yep, right in quadrant 1. So that is how to determine the quadrant or the axis of a point uh, when you just have the coordinates.